As I said just a minute ago, timing is everything in the garden, and bird netting your fruit trees is one of those that makes a big difference if you're paying attention. Take a look at these sour cherries. The birds have already been after them. In fact, I put the netting on a few days ago when these were just a bare yellow color, and that's when the birds really get after them. I just picked these out from under the netting. And timing is everything on sour and sweet cherries, both. If you take a look on up here, the canopy of the tree, these fruits right here that are yellow and just barely have a bit of blush are the stage at which you need to start putting the bird netting on. The birds already have these pegged out, they're ready to go feed on them, and you need to get the netting on. And it's not enough just to put the netting over the top of the tree. For your sake and for the sake of not catching unwary birds in there, you need to take it all the way down to the base of the tree. I've got behind this yarrow here, I've got a chicken wire little fence around the tree to protect it when it was young. And we've secured the bird netting all the way down to there using closed pins, making sure it's completely enclosing the tree so the birds can't get in there and get trapped. We had an unfortunate incident this spring where a young woodpecker was trapped in one of our other fruit trees, and it was sort of sad for us. We want to make sure that they're not harmed, but you do want to protect your fruit. Now this is a North Star variety of sour cherry, and it's a dwarf sour cherry. Most sour cherry trees are going to get really big, probably as tall as your house. And this one stays naturally dwarf. I do prune it every year to keep it fairly short, but as you can see, it's a nice specimen tree for the front yard landscape, for an edible landscape, and uh, we think it gives us enough for probably a couple of cobblers every year, and, and that's enough to suit us. But one last tip on sour cherries and sweet cherries. Once they turn red, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're ripe, and you'll find that out by the taste test. The main thing you want to do is have some patience. Once they turn red, give them another maybe week to 10 days before you pick them so they'll reach their full ripe sweetness. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.